have you heard about open source contribution but don't know what that really means or how you can get involved and make a difference well you have come to the right place video series is a way to document my journey and help you get started with it too first what is open source contribution as the name suggests open source refers to the softwares that are created and shared freely with the world open source softwares can be used by anyone for free and anyone can see it use it and modify it you would have come across a lot of open source softwares in your day to day life without even knowing that these are open source for example mozilla firefox visual studio code brave browser python linux react and the list goes on and on so look around and see what all open source softwares you are using on your day to day life and comment their name in the comment section down below the developers who make these open source softwares want to share it with everyone so that others can also contribute and improve these softwares collaboratively So when people like you and me contribute and make these softwares even better that's called an open source contribution but why you should do open source contribution well there are several compelling reasons for it number 1 it enhances your resume so open source contribution not only look good in your resume but github can become your new resume so the contributions that you make on platforms like github can show your skills and expertise to the potential employers number 2 job opportunities so nowadays companies directly go to github to find the employees and one key thing that stand out for them is the open source contribution that the person has done so by adopting to this non conventional approach of contributing to open source can really make you stand out of the crowd and increase your chances of getting hired number 3 networking so one of the really cool thing about open source contribution is you get to work with people from all over the world they might have different background different experiences but they come together and improve the software that countless people rely on every day number 4 opportunity to earn money Open source contribution not only help you enhance your skills but can also turn your passion of coding into a source of income. Some of the projects provide sponsor features so as to financially support the project and the developer. Also, some of the projects have bounties for solving specific issues and there are some open source programs in which you can participate and earn a good amount of money for contributing to open source so overall open source contribution is a win win for the companies who have these open source softwares and developers like us who want to contribute to open source now you might be thinking that open source contribution is only for experts but that's not the case the best part about open source contribution is there is no entry barrier to it even if you're a beginner or a working professional you are welcome to make a contribution Also you need not be a pro at any tech stack because you need not make a major change to make a difference you even small contributions can also be a good kick start for the newbies and contribution does not only mean writing code you can help in testing the software report any bugs or issues that you find improve the documentation etc for example you are following along the documentation and you feel that If a particular step is also included in the documentation it will become more understandable so you can suggest that as well these contributions also act as a good starting point and as and when you feel more comfortable with the project and the tech stack you can help in fixing bugs and also help build new features now let's get into the steps involved in order to get started don't worry it's easier than you might think so step 1 is to find a project There are millions of open source projects on GitHub but I would not recommend browsing through them randomly because you will get confused. Instead, there are dedicated websites that have a list of beginner friendly projects that you can choose from is based on your interest and your skills and expertise. Some of these popular websites are Up for Grabs, First Contribution, Gojer, Code Triage, Good First Issues and some more. Also there is a GitHub great for new contribution feature from which you can explore the project and find a suitable one for you. Step 2 decide whether to contribute to it. So once you have found the project it's important to evaluate if it's the right fit for you. So there are some pointers that you should keep in mind while doing so. Number 1 you should always look for a license file in the project repository to ensure that the project is open source. Also it should highly likely have a contributing.md file so that you get to know about the guidelines that you need to follow before contributing the, to that project. Next, check when was the last commit to the project and does it even have enough commits? Because you want to make sure that you are not contributing to a project that people have forgot about and it's really very old. Next is to check for issues. 
so if there are any recent issues or not and if someone is asking a question about a particular issue is there even a maintainer who is answering those questions and is the community actively participating in that project or not also check for the closed pull request both the rejected and the accepted ones so if someone is raising a pull request are they really being seen or acknowledged by the maintainer and if the pull request is not merged are they giving the reason behind it and the required feedback or not it's very important to consider these points before finalizing the project because you only want to contribute to an inclusive project that can help you not just test but hone your skills as well you do not want that your hard work of solving a bug or creating a new feature gets wasted because the project is not actively maintained step 3 understand the project better so before actually working on the project it's important to spend some time with it to understand it better and this can be done by one reading the readme file which gives the overview of the project and specifies any jargon uh, which we must know before actually working on it two contributing.md file which gives some idea about contributing to that pro specific project and also uh, gives the guidelines that needs to be followed before contributing and last but not the least the documentation so doing these things understanding the project better really helps before actually starting working on it step 4 find an issue to work on so the best way for beginners is to look for labels in the issues section like good first issue first timers only or boot camp task so the developers of the project put these labels so as to highlight that these issues are beginner friendly and can be attempted by any beginners so these are majorly small tasks that which are good to getting started with open source but if you still feel that these are above your level of expertise you can simply go to the doc documentation and try finding a bug in it or any improvement that is needed there is also an advanced way to find an issue simply search for to do in the project so project owner sometimes leave the task because those tasks are not crucial at the uh, point in time they are working on it but they put a to do so that they can work on it later so you can pick up those things and also work on it and get recognized if you are interested in a particular issue you can simply leave a comment saying that i am a first time contributor and i want to work on it please assign it to me and the maintainer would assign that particular issue to you uh remember that uh, these issues are raised over time and you just need to keep an eye on it to see which one clicks you and it can become your open source contribution step 5 work on your solution and submit it finally it's the time to work on your solution and if you have any queries it's always advisable to ask them in the comments of the issue you are working on and if the project is actively maintained there will be people who will answer your queries and then start by forking the project clone it to your local machine make a new branch start working on the project be it making changes to the code or making changes to the documentation push it and then create a pull request project maintainers will then review your contribution provide feedback and refine it with you if necessary and that's how you can make your first open source contribution and that brings us to the end of this video i hope now you have gained a better understanding of what open source contribution is and how you can make your first open source contribution in the next video we are actually going to make our first open source contribution so stay tuned for that and if you found this video helpful do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos in future see you in the next one